What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly. Welcome. I am a labor and postpartum doula and I'm also currently pregnant with our second baby. I am in the second trimester. I am in my son Wilder's room because I am starting to get that bug to organize and nest and declutter and get ready for the second baby. And I'm hoping that I can do some things in Wilder's room that's going to help us long term whenever we have another little one to be paying attention to. Wilder is at the age where he's starting to want to help more and wanting to do things for himself. And he's always been a really independent kid, but we don't have a lot of systems in place to help facilitate that independence for a couple of things. So first and foremost, the number one um, issue that we have right now, in my opinion, is that all of his clothes are in our room. We don't have a dresser for him. He has just like lived out of baskets. So I'm thinking today, him and Drew are at the park right now and it's a perfect time for me to try and get in here and do a little bit of work and maybe get his clothes organized and get that dresser put together and just do a little bit of reorganization in here to hopefully encourage a little bit more independence when it comes to like getting dressed and putting his clothes in a dirty clothes basket. We only, we all share one basket right now. Before we jump into it, if you are not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of this empowering community and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy organizing and decluttering or if you're pregnant yourself and you know that you are doing the exact same thing that I am doing. I feel like I've held out for a really long time to not start nesting and I am just feeling the bug and I'm ready to go. So this is going to be something that I'll share with you guys all along the way. There's tons of stuff that I want to get done before this baby is here. So I will be sharing and vlogging all those things for you guys. So if you want to check out more, I have a playlist linked above for all the vlogs that I've had during this pregnancy. And let's go ahead and just jump into it. I need to go and get all of the stuff that I ordered from Amazon to make this happen. are made out of um, fabric and are very light so he can open them easily. Also now I need to go get all of the clothes from our room um, and organize them. Also, while I was putting this together, I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts, The Rich Roll Podcast. If you guys haven't listened to him, such an amazing podcast. He's like a personal and self-development person. He used to be a lawyer and was an alcoholic and kind of changed his life and like flipped it around to being this empowering and self-development person. And he just has honestly one of the best podcasts that I feel like is out there. So my favorite guests that he talks to all the time and has frequently is Guru Singh. And he is just so thought-provoking and insightful and I just love it so give it a listen if you haven't I also brought this empty basket with me so that I can uh, transition clothes that don't fit Wilder anymore or things that he's not wearing that we can donate um, so that it doesn't get put into his drawers because since these are smaller I want to keep a smaller amount of clothing
Walker back from the park. He's eating lunch, but he is about to go down for his nap. So I'm working against the clock, but I got everything put into the drawers. I separated them out by all of his PJs are at the bottom and a lot of his clothes are still in the laundry. So I left some extra room in all these drawers for those. But in here, this is where all of his one pieces, like rompers and matching sets will go. And then in this drawer, I put all of his um, t-shirts and like tank tops for the cooler weather, or sorry, the warmer weather. And then up here is where all of his shorts and pants are. Um, and I filtered out so many clothes, like this entire basket is full of stuff. I feel so good about this, getting rid of all these clothes that he never wears and can't wear anymore or just like seasonally inappropriate for right now, um, I think this will be nice because less options is better when you have your toddler picking out their clothes. But for the rest of his room, which is still in shambles, Okay, so now we've got it open here and the closed side over here. And then back here is like his little closet area, which is nice because it's just a little separate <laughs> from everywhere else. Now, the other thing that I got is this little um, hanging laundry bag so that he can put his dirty clothes away and it can either hang at the top of your door or it, can, it comes with little command hooks and it can hang on the back of the door or on a wall. Um, so I'm trying to think if I want it on the back of his door over there. I don't know. I'll have to think about that and decide where I want to put it. I guess I could also hang the laundry bag on the back of his bed. Let me see how big it is. Oh, okay. So it's not huge actually. So it comes with two hook options peel and stick these guys on wherever like whatever surface you're gonna hang them on or you have these which are your like over the door situation looks like yeah they would fit they do fit on his bed oh how cool so it hangs like this right and you put your clothes in the hole and then at the back on the bottom there's this zipper, so whenever you're ready to wash them, you just unzip it and dump it into the wash. That is amazing. I think, I think this could work. Okay, so this is kind of cute. This is hanging on the back of his bed right here, and then this is where his new drawers are and there's plenty of room so in theory he can get dressed and then put his dirty clothes right in the basket there's a chance that he like he really likes to pull on stuff right now so i wouldn't be surprised if he comes in here and like tries to pull on this but i'm gonna work on trying to teach him to put his dirty clothes in here and then that way he can actually probably help me whenever he wants to, whenever we need to do his laundry, he can help me get it down, carry it. Like I said, our laundry room is right there. So I think that'll work. Like I said, I got all of this stuff on Amazon. I'll put it in my Amazon store um, in case you guys are interested in it. It looks really cute together. The gray itself is actually really nice. And like, this is very sturdy. This is really good quality too. And I imagine you can just toss this in the wash if it starts to get smelly or anything, um, but because it's open, it'll let air in. I love this, this is great. I love when people come up with inventions that are so useful. But I think I might get rid of this little shelf because it's kind of, doesn't really have a purpose back here anymore. And depending on if we put that other shelf in the corner, I don't know, to be determined on this. I'm just trying to make his room functional and nice and give him the chance 
to have some more independence um, and also just make him enjoy his space more. He used to really enjoy independent play and like being in his room alone and he's going through a super, I'd say I'd err on the word clingy phase where he really just wants mom, um, not even dad, which is very bizarre. He's always been, I don't know, it's been pretty equal between us. He's never gravitated like super hard towards one of us but he's in a huge mama phase right now. And whenever I put him in here to play alone, if I give him a snack, it'll last as long as the snack lasts. And if I don't give him a snack, um, he is not having it right now. So I'm trying to help him um, have a little more independence in here and maybe make his room feel a little bit more cozy. So I got some new um, sheets and a new pillow for him that are a little more colorful. Right now, everything that we have in here is very much like neutral and white, which is my vibe. But for kids, kids like color. So I think if I add a little color in here, it might make him a little happier. I don't know, <laughs> I'm trying anything because um, I don't wanna force him away, but I just wanna encourage him the chance to have a little bit of independent play in here and actually enjoy it. I don't wanna force him into it if he isn't happy. But this feels like a good step towards like the right progress. We are like minutes away from nap time, so we will have to check back in after nap time and see how it goes. Good wow, job. good job. Who is that? <laughs> Drew just got back from the storage unit and Wilder obviously woke up from his nap and I put the arched shelf over here and I can't push it all the way up against the wall because those shelves are there. I think it might just be a little too crowded over here. I'm kind of liking the idea of the room feeling a little bit more airy and I don't know. I just think it looks like it's a little bit much, especially like bamboo shades, bamboo shelf. They're playing outside in this little like water pad and they are being so freaking cute. so freaking cute I love this set of sheets I got this like mustard color set of sheets and I got him one new pillow to go with it and I really like the way that it's tying everything together this is a really cute pillow that Drew's mom made for him whenever he was little it has a sun and a moon and an A for Andrew so we keep it in here because it's just like a special little memento that we like to keep um, but I think that's gonna do it for today. I am feeling good about everything we've done. I know I need to figure out like this situation. This is definitely not gonna stay. Um, and I need to figure out like the shelving situation. But other than that, we're almost done. So I'm gonna call it for today. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me and watching this video. If you are not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of this empowering community and continue taking you through my pregnancy journey. And give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it so far. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.